All right, listen up, you fucking tentacle farts. All right, I've done this video like three times now, this being the third time. Hopefully this is the last time. I still get a fuck ton of comments, and every fucking time, they're like, oh my god, well, it's not working. How do I do this? I don't know how to do it. And uh, normally, it's always like, th it's just something simple. So I'm going to go ahead and explain this very slowly and very thoroughly how I do this for the last time. All right, because it's the third video, all right? I can understand the first one. The first one, you know, was an interesting video. Maybe people didn't know how to do it. Second one, there was an update that came out, and, you know, there was a lot of problems. There was a lot of people, they were like, oh, my God, what the fuck's going on? All right, Steam. We're just going to do this the Steam way. If you have the disc, you're shit out of luck. I'm not even going to say that I'm willing to help you because I'm not. If you have the disc version and you're having problems, go somewhere else. I don't know how to help you. If you've never even run the game before, I think you have to run the game in order for it to create the mods folder for you. So make sure you run the game at least once. Just load it up, the vanilla game, no mods installed, run it once. All right, let's see, where the fuck is, where the fuck is Sins, right, here it is. Sins of Solar Empire Rebellion, all right. I got three DLCs installed because I'm not getting them all, only getting three of them. Actually, I think that's all of them, not sure. Either way, Boom. All right. Here's Sins. I have it installed. Let's say that this is a fresh install, even though it's not all right. I just installed the game. Bam. All right. Let's get out of Steam now. All right. Now, over here, you see, look at this. Windows 7, you got your libraries. All right. You got your libraries. You got your documents right here. And then let's go to my documents. All right. Bam. Here's all my documents. Look at that shit. There's some inside of the fucking secrets for you right there. My games. All right. Ironclad games. Sins of a Soul Empire Rebellion. And now, here's where the magic happens, all right? Mods dash rebellion version 1.85. Now, if you have version 1.84, version 1.83, you know, version 1.80, whatever. The, the latest version for me right now is version 1.85, all right? It could go to 1.86. Who the fuck knows? I certainly don't. But the way that you can fix this is if you don't have 1.84, or you don't have 1.85, but you have 1.84, but you know that you have the newest update. The way that I fixed it was, hold on, bam. I just clicked on this, and I changed the 4 to a 5, and it fixed it. All the mods started working again, all right? That's how I fixed that. If you have the latest version, nothing matters, all right? That's just for one scenario. That's just one thing that might happen to, like, one and like, every, like, 30,000 people. Who the fuck knows? It's a very rare thing, all right? It happened to me but I saw very few people that it happened to other than me. That's how I fixed it. Let's go ahead and get into the mods, okay? Now, you find your mod on ModDB or wherever the hell you're getting it from. I get all mine from ModDB, all right? You download your mod. You know, it's usually a zip file. You open the zip or raw, you know, whatever the fuck you're using. You drag the mod folder over here. So, like, I got Dawn of the Reapers. I got Sins of a Galactic Empire. Sins of the Prophets, and Star Trek Armada 3, all right? Those are the four mods that I have right now. Currently, I'm using Sins of the Prophets, all right? Now, how do I distinguish which one is currently active? Let's say I wanted to activate Star Trek Armada 3 instead of Sins of the Prophets, all right? So what I would do is I would click this, copy the name, that way I have the name of the mod exactly how it is, I don't want to accidentally misspell something and not realize it, all right? So, you know, you just right-click this, you go to rename, right-click again, copy. It's that simple, all right? If you didn't know how to do that, you probably shouldn't be using computers. And then, the next step to do, this is how you enable a mod or change an enabled mod, all right? You click enabled mods.txt, all right? It's very important that you click this. This is the most important step, all right? Boom opened it up, all right? Now, as you can see, it says Sins of the Prophets Alpha version dot zero dot 81 dot two. That is the current enabled mod, Sins of the Prophets. Boom. So you wanna know what we're gonna do to change it to Star Trek? Actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, but I'm not gonna save it yet because I just wanna make absolutely certain that everyone understands, all right? Bam, all right, it's loading up Sins of, Sins of the Prophets. Boom, Sins of the Prophets is currently active. You can't see it because it's in window mode, so you can only see the fucking, you can only see the logo right here. But you see it sends the profits there. Bam, sends the profits loading screen, right? Now, back to everything else. You pull this up, and let me pull this up. So you saw 
it was it was since the profits right that was the mod that was activated uh we're gonna hit save boom saved another thing i should mention enabled enabled mod name count all right this is this should always be set to one or zero if you don't want any mods on you set it to zero if you have a mod currently enabled you set it to one all right if you're gonna always have a mod currently enabled you keep it set at one and you don't change it all right you just keep it at one if you one of those people that likes doing the Battlestar Galactica mod, I tried it out once. You need more than one mod for that one. That's why I don't like using it. So, you know, you got to put two for that one on me. I, or maybe it was three. I don't remember. But that one, that's like the only thing that you're going to have a difficult time with modding for this game is the Battlestar Galactica mod. mod like whenever you want to do something that requires more than one mod, it's going to be a little bit difficult. That's why I don't do it. I personally like the other mods. So just keep this at whatever number mod you have activated at. We're going to hit save, all right? We have Star Trek Armada 3 in here, all right? Go ahead and close out of that. Boom. Let's go ahead and launch Sins of Soul Empire Rebellion, all right? That's what I'm going to do. Don't do it yet, all right? There's still one more step that I got to that I gotta show you. But as you can see, fucking whimmy wham wham wazzle, how the fuck they say it in Futurama, that is a different fucking emblem for your loading screen, all right? Jesus Christ. It's not that hard. Well, it is kind of hard if you've never done it before, which is understandable, all right? I empathize with you if you've never done this before. But if you've done this before, you know, if you're computer savvy, I feel bad for you, son. I was about to make that 99 problems reference, but, you know, I'm not gay. I am, but not entirely. But as you can see, Star Trek Commander 3, it's not Sins of the Prophets, boom. All right, I activated a different mod. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to reactivate Sins of the Prophets because, you know, that's the one that I enjoy the most, you know? What's well, my favorite, all right? It should be your favorite too, all right? Not saying it's the best because, you know, I don't want to diminish the other mods. You know, the good mods, but, you know, nothing can really compete with this one, all right? I'm just throwing that, right? I'm just going to throw that out there for you, all right? Best one. All right, the last thing. All right, this is what everybody gets wrong. I, I don't... It's, if it's either this or it's that they just don't know how to do the enabled mods thing. LAA.exe, all right? Every mod that you download is gonna come with this inside of the dot raw. All right. Now what I do is I go ahead and I drag that along with the along with the folder over to this. That way I always have the program in here. Start it up really quick. Boom. All right. You see it's right here. Bam. Right there. All right. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna enable Sins of a Soul Empire Rebellion to use more than two gigabytes of RAM. And if you don't know what any of that means, you don't need to know what it means. You just need to know that it needs it, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find your Steam library, all right? Like I said, we're doing this for Steam. We're not doing this for the disc version because I'm not gonna help you. I don't wanna help you get the Steam version. So for me, my Steam file, it's on my games folder. All right, so we go to games and uh, where the fuck is Steam? Uh, there's Steam right there, I'm stupid. Boom, Steam, all right. Then we go to Steam apps. Then we go to common, and then where are the S's at? Boom, Sons of a Soul Empire Rebellion. All right, now, some people have their, their extensions hidden, and if you don't know what extensions are, let me explain that for you really quick. Extensions are these things right here. You see where it says .exe? That is an extension, all right? Uh, if you didn't know. So all these have .exe on them. Some people have their extensions hidden. You want to know how you fix that? Let me just go ahead and pop over to my other monitor real quick. How to... I know it's not recording. Uh, I know you can't see it, but boom. All right. Let me go ahead and pop this over really quick. You see how easy that was to do? I mean, you know, I'm no expert at Google. I am, you know, at Google and shit. But, uh, you know, there's about 1 million results here. Well, there is 1 million results. And uh, this first thing, it literally tells you how to do it. I'm not going to go through and do it because it tells you how to do it right here. And I'm wasting too much time explaining this. All right. So that is how you enable your extensions, all right? Boom, just Google it. It's so fucking simple, all right? Here is the thing, all right? You wanna click on Sins of a Soul Empire Rebellion dot exe, not dev dot exe, all right? So make sure you click this box right here, step two, large address aware flag. Check this box to enable the application to use more than two gigabytes of memory. Uncheck this box to limit the ap application to two gigabytes of memory. We don't wanna limit it. All right, let me just explain this in simple terms. No limit. All right, we want to exceed the limit. So that means check the box, even though I just unchecked it. 
check the box. Step three, save. That simple. It's really that simple. Uh, if the game crashes, you know, normally you just reopen, you just reopen LA, come over here, find your boom, make sure it's checked, save. And then it normally will fix the crash. 99% of the time that fixes any crash that I have. But 99% of the time, I don't have a crash, all right? So if your game crashes on startup, let me go ahead and load the game really quick. Sometimes my game will crash on startup. Now, not entirely all the time, but like I said, sometimes it'll crash on startup. Like right up here in the top left corner, it'll say Sins of the Soul Empire Rebellion, and then it'll say unres not responding and unresponsive, whatever the fuck it says. You know what it says. I either wait or I exit the game out and re-enable LAA. If I wait for like 30 seconds, the game will fix itself and it'll play. That's how it normally works for me. Another thing you can do is you can go to settings in the game. All right, the regular game, obviously. Uh, you can go to file manager. Never mind, not file manager. That is retarded. But you can go to skulls and mods, which is not what it's called for the regular game because this is the Halo version. Uh, I don't know what it's called in the regular game. Let's go ahead and figure out what the fuck it's called for the regular game. All right, this is how you would this is how you would enable. The regular game hopefully this is the last time i make this video i already know there's gonna be a comment it's gonna be like i uh i did something wrong it's 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 crashing on startup uh i i did i checked the box but i didn't really check the box i, I don't know you know what i did uh, i followed everything in the video uh it's i fucked up somewhere along the way i don't know how to do it can you help me this is the only other option that there is this is literally the only other thing that I can recommend other than uninstalling the game and reinstalling it, all right? Listen up. It's the last thing. All right, if this doesn't work, you shit out of luck. Go find go find something else, all right? Go find someone else. Let's see. Mods. It's literally just called mods, all right? Come over here. Uh, send to the profits. I'm going to go ahead and activate this one because remember, like I said, you know, I'm not biased or anything, you know. it's I'm not saying it's the best mod out there, but it's the best, it's the best mod out there. Enable mod. Boom, 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 bamboozle apply changes give it a second maybe two seconds there you go right there send to the profits it's activated dude was that hard i don't think it was hard it's pretty easy uh i didn't crash at all doing them i haven't crashed in a long time game hasn't crashed in like i don't know it's been so long so there's really nothing else to do other than those four things uh, enabling the mod, enabling LAA, uh, starting the game before you enable any mods. Uh, I, I should have said that first, but let me just re-fucking do this, all right? Start the game before you do any mods, enable the mod, enable LAA, and then if all else fails, go into the game on the vanilla game, make sure all the mods are disabled, and enable the mod in game. Hopefully that addresses everything. I have no clue what your problem is if none of that helped like i said go to the mod page i'm being serious now I'm out of the accent go check their comments maybe someone's run into the same problem as you and they've already answered it if they haven't leave a comment maybe they'll help you out but if none if everything that i've done doesn't work for you like i said you're one of the one percent dude you're part of the top one percent sometimes that can be good sometimes that can be bad but there ain't nothing i can do for you so you should have probably left a long time ago hopefully this is the last time that i have to make this because i can't i can't believe that i still get comments two videos i've been two videos on installing it and i still get comments like i fucked up somewhere so hopefully this is more in depth exactly everything uh, I actually opened up the game to show people that it does work this time. I figured they'd take me for for my word, but who knows? Maybe they didn't. But that's that. If you liked it, you know, leave the hit the whatever the like button. If you hated it, there's that other button. Um, there's the other button next to that, so you can hit that one too. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this. I just decided to make this because I saw a bunch of comments. So who knows? If it's up, then it's up. But I'll see you guys in the next one.